Holy shit. So my cousin calls me up just like 10 minutes ago. He's like, dude, I'm not even going to speak. Just tell me what your reaction is. Give me your takes. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? He's like, bro, Kenny Pickett got traded. So we proceeded to talk about the trade for the next like five to six minutes. And then I just ran to my computer. So I didn't even look anything up. I'm just going off his word. From what I know, he was traded to the Philadelphia Eagles in exchange for a couple seventh round picks next year and next year's draft, 2025, and also a fourth round pick swap this year where the Steelers get the better of the fourth round picks. The Eagles get the worst. I'm good with the trade. Completely good with the trade. Steeler Nation, let's ride. Russell Wilson, QB1. We roll with Russ. Like, that's where we're at with it. If you don't want to be here, then we can't have you here. Mike Tomlin has said it how many times? We want volunteers, not hostages. And we could put two and two together. Kenny Pickett didn't want to be here anymore after we signed Russell Wilson. That, and then you, you combine it with how the Mason Rudolph situation was handled and reportedly how Kenny Pickett responded. Like, we, we can't have that around here. We can't. Volunteers, not hostages. You got to want, want to be here. And I don't think Kenny Pickett wanted to be a Pittsburgh Steeler anymore. I don't think he wanted to be a part of the organization. I don't think he liked how things were handled in his short career thus far here. Um, and I get it. Like, he, he can... He can, he can talk about how maybe he was wronged with having Matt Canada as an OC. You know, certain things. Being the scapegoat for some of the offensive struggles this year. And then even with him getting healthy and Mason Rudolph spell starting for that one game with the Bengals, like he thought he was going to get his draw back. And he didn't. And I think the Steelers made the right decision in continuing to go with Mason, but I could see why... He may feel otherwise, especially if he was told that, you know, once you're back and healthy again, you're going to get the job back. It's just that the Steelers, I don't even think the Steelers expected Mason to play the way that he did. Yeah, bro. Uh, good move. Good move. It's time to get the three jersey. Ordering the three jersey right after this, man. What should I get? Color Rush. 70s throwback. Home, away. You guys let me know. Uh, the compensation, the trade, I don't even think that matters. I don't even think it matters at all. Like, if you don't want to be here, that's it. We got to move on. We've done it with how many players? We've done it with how many players, right? A.B. Well, A I mean, A.B. is the main one. If we could, if we could part ways with A.B., we, we could part ways with anyone. If they make it clear they don't want to be here anymore, like, that's it. That's it. We probably could have, could have got more for AB at the time, right? We only got a third round pick. That's it. We were willing to trade him to Buffalo for a fifth round pick. So I don't even think the compensation matters that much. It's just, it's just moving on from a player that wants to move on from the Steelers. That's I think that's really what it comes down to right now. It's really what it comes down to. But I guess the compensation, if you compare it to like what Mac Jones went for with the Jaguars, like that's around par, I guess. Mac Jones went for like a six round pick. This is close enough to that. Kenny gets to go back to his hometown team. I know he's from Jersey, but he rooted for the Eagles his whole life. It's weird because he is basically just going there and admitting that he's going to be a backup for next season for maybe even who knows how long because Jalen Hurts is the Eagles franchise quarterback. This is why I just really think it comes down to he was done with the Steelers. I don't think he appreciated how things went, not only this year, but just maybe since he went dra he, he got drafted. I don't know. I don't know. Probably more recently. Probably more recently. Maybe he's not thrilled that Canada was here for those two years. Ultimately, you know, when you, when you piece the whole picture together. But, yeah, it's probably more to what took place over these last, like, four or five months. The Mason situation, and then us bringing in Russell Wilson. He's probably thinking, you, you say you got full faith in me. I'm the guy, but you're bringing in Russell Wilson. 
I get you're saying it's a competition, but it, it's it's Russell Wilson. You guys heard the press conference from Russ today. He thinks he's the guy. He's the guy. The teammates, Minka, Cam Hayward, T.J. Watt, all these dudes. They they think Russ is the guy. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I don't think Kenny Pickett wanted to be here and uh, put on an act for what would what would be competition, right? I think he he knew what it was. I think we all knew what it was. You could say competition, but it's it's Russell Wilson. You're bringing in Russell Wilson for a reason. He's been around 12 years. This will be his 13th year. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback. Like he's a tone setter. Leader leadership. I mean, big time leadership. He's just flat out a leader. A culture setter. Like that's that's the type of dude he is. You're I mean, you're not bringing him in to you know compete, right? You know what it is. But, uh, man, I don't know if I have any other reactions right now. I think it's a good trade. I think it's a good trade. I don't know if that surprises any of you at all, but if you don't want to be here, you don't want to be here. If you don't want the competition with Russ or you're you're not willing to potentially be a backup here, then, yeah. Yeah, we got to part ways. Well, that's it. Uh, I was actually just about to record a video talking about uh, Devin Bush getting picked up by the Browns and uh, some Deontay stuff, and uh, we re-signed Montrevious Adams, but that's out the window. I'll get to that some other time this weekend. Yeah, Kenny Pickett got traded. Uh, Russell Wilson. Yeah, that happened really quickly, huh? That happened really, really quickly. Just last week, Kenny Pickett was the only quarterback on the roster. Now, Russell Wilson is the only quarterback on the roster. And it's, uh, yeah, it's Russ time. It's Russ time. Stay chilling. Peace.